Welcome to Christian's Tech Tips, where I'll be sharing quick tech tips with you, whether it's a camera trick, technical advice, or a quick software tutorial like this one, where I'll be briefly show you how to set up DaVinci Resolve for vertical videos using your 4K footage. Let's dive right in. And to keep it truly quick, this shouldn't take more than one, two, three minutes max. I will start the timer as soon as I begin the tip, which is now. All right, to show you how to use the horizontal video in a vertical one, I opened my last DaVinci Resolve tutorial for iPad. So I don't want to manipulate this project, save this project as short and save it. And what you can do very easily now, you can go to file, to project settings, you can go to use vertical resolution, then it changes the values immediately. So we keep the timeline frame rate as it is and we go to save. So it will cut automatically the video to a vertical one. I don't need the adjustment clip because this zooms in a bit. I will shift this video from the position more to the, in the middle. And then let's have a look Today's at Today's video is all about the DaVinci Resolve tutorial for beginners on the iPad. I will demonstrate how to install DaVinci. Okay, now we see that the iPad uh, presentation, this is too big, so I will mark all of them. And I will zoom in that case in that you can only see the iPad that it's in the middle. Okay. Good, so this should also yes, look okay. fine now. I will demonstrate how to install DaVinci via the App Store, set up your first project, navigate, yes. cover cutting, so it looks like this. Okay, and here you can see the text is also cut off, so I will change this. And for this one, I will move this as well up, that this is also in the middle. And then I have this example shot and it's also suits for the vertical video here. Okay, and because it's already 50 seconds long, I will cut after this white tiger here. Means I will also reduce the text. I will use my razor blade here. I will cut this here off. I will then fade out the music and I will get rid of almost the rest of the video. The only thing what I still want is the my intro and I will do a fade out with an additive dissolve here of the text. And secondly also of this tiger scene. Okay, then it looks like this. And now we can click export. We can just keep the HD format just switched and we can restrict it to about 10,000. We also save space then and we can render it. Good, done. Great, I think I've managed to keep it within my self-defined time range. If this tip was helpful, I would really appreciate a like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future videos. And if you have suggestions for future Christian's tech tip videos, please share them in the comments below, regardless of the topic. All right, that's a wrap. Take care and see you in the next one.